What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XML Gaming and today I'm making an updated video on brute force save data. Um, I've been getting a lot of PMs from people with specified questions that were not in my previous video. I'm so sorry that I'm making this video so late. Um, for those who don't know, I sprayed my ankle about a week ago and I finally you know feel better that I can come to the computer um, yeah I sprained my ankle at work so I've been taking painkillers to ease the pain um, had a couple of x-ray done um, it was that bad um, but I feel kind of better you know so I saw a couple PMs or I shouldn't even say saw I received a couple PM with specified questions that People will ask me such as, what is my console ID? What is my user ID? Where do I find these numbers or letters to put in? Um, why aren't certain saves working? And I just want to tell you before I start the video, I'm so sorry that it took me so long to respond. Normally, I would respond within one to two days. Um, like I said before, I sprained my ankle, so I wasn't really feeling... Up to come to the computer to make a video um, for those who that I did respond back it was only because I had my cell phone next to me so you know everybody else that I didn't really PM it's nothing personal it's, again I wasn't feeling well so I'm feeling well today and I said you know what let me actually respond to everybody's question so now that's out the way uh, the main question that I've been getting from everybody is what is my user ID what is my console ID and how do I find it so first and foremost what you want to do is get a save from the account that you want to start reassigning saves to put it on your desktop once you have that all you do is open up brute force save data go to that save and once you go to that save your console ID is the PSID number right here this whole number right here is what you would put in for your console ID right here and your user ID is right here where it says 0000010 000 000 000 000 000 that is what you would put in for your user ID right here once you put that in all you do is hit close or OK and you're done it's just that simple to find your user ID and console ID. Um, for your console ID, you don't leave all zeros. If you don't fill in this information, you cannot reassign saves to your account. It is mandatory to have this information in. So, again, hope this answers your question on how to find your user ID and your console ID. Um, fairly simple fairly easy I'm just gonna hit close right now so sorry now the second question that everybody has been asking me is when I have a save and it's coming up with an error or um, it says corrupt file why is that happening now there's only two reasons why that would happen one is that the save is missing a file so obviously it's going to pop up with a corrupt or an error or two is when the person who uploaded that save created that save they may have they may have had DLC content on their PlayStation and you don't have that DLC so when you try to upload that save and um reassign it and use it it's detecting that you don't have that DLC so you're either gonna get a corrupt file or an error message so the only way around that would be is get the DLC from your friend or straight up buy the DLC that's the only two ways that you can solve that error message and again it would only be those two it's either the save is corrupt or again when they made that save they may have had DLC on their system and it added extra information to the save that when it's looking for it you don't have it so it's just gonna come up error 
whatever, 8100 something. Or, as again, if it says corrupt data, it may be that when they made that save, um, it's missing files. So, I hope that clears up. Again, if you have a save and you get an error message, it's usually one or the other. You know, it happens to me. So, again, um, when I get that, you know, I look at the save and I see if, again, maybe he had DLC. If, if that's the case, the only thing you can do is get a save that is just a regular save without DLC and then reassign that one. And, and that one should actually work. So, again, that question is now, how, now has been answered. So the third question, which was not in my previous video, was I cannot decrypt a save and there is no key. So as you can see on top, I have a game save that does not have a key listed and is completely blank. Um, now, the reason why I don't have a key is because, again, they haven't uploaded the key for that game now you have a couple of options but before I get into the options as you can see on my proof for save data when you don't have a key you can see already that the decrypt PFD is shaded gray and what that means is that you cannot decrypt the save without a key you cannot apply a cheat to the save without a key so again you have a couple of options on how to solve this one is you can get an actual program and you can extract the key from that save and then you can add that key to brute force save data and it would appear and then you can decrypt it and then you can add a cheat that's option number one so you're just not in a jam um you can google that online to find how to extract a game save key to add the brute force save data is really not that hard. It's just a matter of two, three minutes, and you're done. Um, option number two is you can either get a game save, right, and just reassign it. You know, one where someone was playing and they had to cheat on there and just reassign it. Um, if the key doesn't become available or you don't know how to extract the key. And the third and final option would be, which would be the last of the last, is just to wait until the key is available. And after once it's available, um, you would see that it would now be added to brute force save data. And then you would be able to de decrypt the uh, save and then apply a cheat and re encrypt it. Um, again, that was not in my previous video. My previous video was only to show you how to use brute force save data. Um, and what were the three common usage of brute force save data? That was it. it. Wasn't really to go in too much details, but you know I figure I make an updated video. Um, I hope this video helped you. I hope that it answered your um your questions. Uh, again, I'm here to help you. It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Look out for my gaming channel. Um, again, if you PM me and I don't get the message or I don't respond. PM me back again. This is no big deal. You know, I usually take one to two days again to respond to people's messages. I'm so sorry for the people that PM me that I did not respond. Again, had a sprained ankle, but I did see it. So, you know, I don't want you to think I neglected not to make the video. Again, my health comes first. <laughs> you know, I got to feel better. But that's pretty much it. Again, if you need any more help on proof or save data, hit me up. Again, it's Mr. You Know Who from XML Gaming. And peace and have a good day.